So in this video, we're gonna look at some of the things we can check out on the EMG controller on our oscilloscope. So right now you can see I've got my Arduino Nano powered through USB. Now, the first thing you wanna do is use a little jumper wire and connect it to that ground point right there and then ground your scope. And then from there, what we can start doing is measuring these different test points on the board. So here you can see test point one or TP1. Then we have TP2. TP3 and TP4. And what we can use those test points for is to look at how the signal gets traced throughout the entire circuit of our EMG controller. Obviously, you're going to want to make sure that you're connected correctly. Make sure that's pushed all the way into the jack there. Now, if we look at TP1, TP1 is going to have the smallest signal. So you really want to try to zoom in as much as you can. Some scopes are going to have a hard time reading it. So here I am can see that little spot right there that's me flexing my muscle make sure it's easy to get off that test point so make sure you keep a probe on the test point as you're doing it you can see that little bit of voltage spike is from my muscle now as we trace a circuit over to TP2 which you'll see is already I'm picking up more signal because the noise is also getting amplified here. So this is my first amplifying circuit. And as I squeeze, you can see, whoa, there we go. Now we're really starting to see some information. So you're gonna have to zoom back out, make your voltage division a little different. And then as I squeeze my arm, right, you can see that spike in, in the muscle activity. Now going over to our secondary amp, TP3, so right now I got my probe on test point three. All right, so you can see now we're, we're actually modifying the signal a little bit more. And now we, we get our envelope filter right here. All right, so each one of these amplifiers and this envelope filter are playing a different part in our EMG controller. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a sense of how this EMG controller is working. Now, one thing we could play around with is we could look at this potentiometer right here and play around with how this changes the amplification of the circuit. So where this potentiometer is gonna be most noticeable is for test point one. So if you go over here, test point one, you make sure you're at a nice small voltage division over here. Go ahead and give that a couple squeezes right now my potentiometer is all the way to the left. Let's go to the right now. Make sure we keep that on test point one. Now you can see it's much, much smaller, right? So as I, it's almost hard to see at this point. So let me go ahead and make that a little bit more sensitive by turning it counterclockwise. Go back on a test point one. And there you can see my EMG signal right there. Now, if I go ahead and put this back all the way, you can see I've drastically imp increased my signal. Now, obviously you're gonna get a lot more noise if you do that. And typically this circuit is sensitive enough that I always recommend starting all the way clockwise. And then if you need to increase the sensitivity as needed by turning counterclockwise. Well, hopefully this gives you a little bit of idea of how your EMG controller circuit works, and we hope you enjoy the project.